Real estate attorney Stephen Meister is here from Meister, Seelig and Fine. All right, Stephen, point number one. California, New York and Florida, they're saying no to the mortgage settlement, the robo-signing foreclosure right. settlement. Right. They're saying no. I'm saying that that whole settlement deal is an attack on the banks and will do no good. And it, you say? It could never do any good. Look, the people in foreclosure have not paid, on average, a payment in over 600 days. This $25 billion is going to be sprinkled among them. They're terminal, financially speaking. So it's not going to help. But they could and get $2,000 a piece. I mean, that but is, if you it, haven't made a payment in 611 days, Stuart, what's that going to do for you? Moral it's happens. not going to save your house. And the banks only did what Washington told them to do, which is to make no down payment loans. And so that's what's caused this problem. So now they're paying for doing what they were told to do. But nonetheless, we've got California, New York, and Florida, the, the big states, the big foreclosure states, actually, they're out of this, this possible deal. Because and they could mess up the whole deal. Maybe there will be no deal. Right. It's not clear whether the deal will go forward if those, out, those states that are remaining out remain exactly. out. The whole process is politicized because what these attorney generals do, who, who we all know are, many are politically ambitious, sure. they're looking to garner votes. Right. And I think really the people that pay for this are the 40 million homeowners who haven't gone into default and, and the 24 million oh. homeowners who don't, who don't have mortgages because with the less uh, uh, you know, down payment, with the higher down payment loans that you have as a result of all this, this brouhaha, okay. you have a less pricey market. All right, got to move on to the next subject. There is going to be, there is already a special fee imposed on new mortgages if they're backed by Fannie and Freddie, and most of them are. So there's a new fee on new mortgages, and the money raised from that fee will go towards paying for the payroll tax reduction that we now have for the next couple of months. I mean, it's so absurd, Stuart. It, it, look, I understand the idea of paying as you go. I'm all in favor of that. Why extend the payroll tax credit? Social Security is broke, okay? That, it shouldn't even be called a payroll tax. It's a contribution to your retirement fund, okay? okay? So, so let that stay in effect. Why have people who take out mortgages? Just pay the contributions of other people's retirement. Okay, so you don't like any of this. You don't like no, the I don't like any deal. of it. You don't like this special fee. You don't like that. Okay, I've got 20 seconds left, <laughs> so I've got to keep this short. What you want is to let the mortgage market, let the housing market clear. That's what you want. That's right, Stuart. Enormous pain for lots of people short term, right? But less pain long term and Got a quicker it. recovery. Stephen Meister, always a pleasure. Thank you very much. I appreciate Thank it. You.